the BRK Pathfinder. Probably one of the best all-time hunting PCPs. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys why I think so. Alright, so here they are. Red Snappers. Adult Snap Bangers. Alright, so now I've got 10 of them strapped together here like this. And we are going to tape this up right there and see what it looks like to smack 10 of these guys all at once. Whoa, that was awesome. All right, sighted up and everything, we're only at 6.5 pounds, so definitely a very light air gun, but you're not sacrificing on features. We've still got the Huma regulator. We've got a carbon fiber bottle that's delivering over 50 shots per fill, even on full power. We've got the power adjuster right there, beautiful side lever action, shrouded barrel, this cool sort of muzzle brake on the end here. And of course that comes off to reveal your threaded end to which you can easily attach whatever moderator that you've got. You've got an adjustable stock, which is also foldable. You can shoot the gun folded, which is pretty cool. And the folding action is very robust. Uh, definitely gonna last a long time. Many operations back and forth. We've got a pick rail on the bottom here for mounting bipods, lasers, and so forth. And really just with how light and how maneuverable this thing is, uh, how compactable it is, and the shot count. This is a hunter's dream. Anyways, as you can see, super fast follow-up shots using that awesome side lever there. I mean, that's just so rewarding. And just dang accurate. I'm just sitting here, like I say, at 50 yards with the red dot plinking headshots on my silhouette target over there, and it's no problem at all. All right, so let's head back over to the bench and shoot this thing some more. Check out what it does at 100 yards. Sheesh, yeah, that was freaking awesome. Wow. <laughs> All right, so here's a couple of results just right off the bat for us. Got it sighted in with the 1589s, but you could see just those regular 1589s weren't really cutting it for us at 100 yards, but loaded in 10 shots of the JSB Hades and like they were just stacking right there. Hey guys, I want to pop in here for a minute and thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. That's aura.com slash shooting. Links in the description below and on screen right now. This is a full on protection service, not just identity theft protection, but a whole array of uh, 
protections. It's literally like an aura of protection around you in the digital realm where you can't protect yourself by typical means. And I'm imagining that a lot of you guys out there are like me and you take protecting yourself pretty seriously. I mean, heck, you're watching a video about guns right now. So when I found out about what Aura does and their ability to protect me from the threats that I can't see, that I can't directly protect myself against, I was pretty pumped up about it. It's not just identity theft protection, but it's protection on your personal information from data brokers and scammers. They offer VPN services. I mean, guys, check out the list of services that's on screen right now. And also the fact that it's all offered together in one package for what I would consider a really low price. I mean, you pay more than that for just an individual service off of this list in the past. So you can either sit back and let other people keep profiting from your personal information that's out there on the web, or you can do something right now to stop it. Definitely, I'd encourage you guys to check it out. Sign up, get your two-week free trial to check it all out. Aura.com slash shooting, and uh, they're a sponsor for the channel, so if you guys want to show me some love, definitely show them some love. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so today we've got an impressively bad idea. We're going to find out if we can cause a shotgun shell to go off by shooting some firecrackers that we've taped to the back of it. So here's how it actually came out. Eight of the snap bangers taped to the back of the shell like this. So I've got it inside of this container here so that we can kind of try to evaluate which direction does it explode. I'm going to poke through this little crack right here. We're about 20 yards away. We're gonna have to try a different method on this. You can see that it blew up all of the firecrackers off the back there. Definitely didn't really make too much of a difference or an impact on the back of the shot shell. So we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one. So we got the chance to take the Pathfinder up north a few weeks back, do some tassilier hunting. Didn't quite collect enough footage to put together a whole video for you guys, but still wanted to share a few of the clips and some of the fun from that trip up north. So check this out. <laughs> we got a beautiful tassel ear squirrel out here today. We've been at it for a while, driving, hiking, jumping. He's right there on the top of that tree. He's sitting still, Jay. Right there. Can you see him moving? We're just out here outside of Williams. I have the Brocock Pathfinder 22 cal. We saw this beautiful tassel squirrel. Me and Luke went out. I got the first hit on it, then he followed up with a shotgun. Chased it up a tree, knocked it down. Got him. Right there. Okay. Can you see him? Uh, on top see, of that see, branch. See, see, see. Luke, be ready. He's on top of a branch and Jay's got him. Be ready with the follow-up. Luke, come over towards us. Got a clear shot, he's up at the top. Luke, come through here. Look right through these branches right here. You can see him up at the very top here. Got to switch it up to the shotgun for that one. But we still got him out here tassel earing it, and this is what it's all about, boys. Woo! Still got a headshot, even though it's an air gun. <laughs> even though it's not an air gun. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me here today, checking out the BRK Pathfinder. I'm loving this thing. Definitely got lots of plans to be using this right here for some small game hunting in the future. But that's it for today's video. If you guys had fun hanging out with me here, definitely check out one of the other couple of videos up on screen right now. Want to keep hanging out with you guys? I'll see you over there.